Hola, it's Ashton. And it is John. What is up, Sub Sandwiches? We're back with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to Ultimate Awkward Compilation 2 by the channel Cringe. With Go a K. and subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to Cringe. God damn it. Cringe with a K. Yes. Um, this was a suggestion from Claude Balls. Um, thank you so much, Claude Balls, for your Why support. Why are your balls, Claude? It's Rob. Him and his damn names. Um, um, guys, go check out BadassTutors.com. Also, if you need help with anything tutoring, uh, thank you so much, Rob. You guys can also help support the channel. Click on that link down below in the descriptor if you guys throw it on through Streamlabs. We're going to let you pick on the next videos we react to. Just keep it under 10 minutes. Include video link title and your email. Did he say anything in this message? Favorite videos. Also, I'm the best mascot of all. Fluffy sucks. Also, recommend the book Tiger's Revenge by Claude Balls. Is it Claude Balls? or That Cla makes sense. Claude Balls. Claude Balls. Yeah, and then Tiger's Revenge, it's a book by Claude Balls. Okay. So it's the Balls perspective of the Tiger's Revenge, I don't know. <laughs> anyway guys, let's go ahead and get to that video. And then Rob, I know you suggested in emails, it's a little bit confused man because you sent a couple. Um, you suggested something else you wanted us to do instead of this, but then you rephrase it saying back to it. No, I'll just do that video, so hope this is the right one. <laughs> Go to the bathroom. Why is that lady just sitting there? Hi, you shit his for pants. A I want to say to you, you have a very cute, soft, like a girly voice. Thank you. A lot of people say the reason people have girly voices is something bad happened to them at that age. Were you touched at an early age or were you fine? That's the creepiest question I've ever heard, and no, but it's so inappropriate, it's not even funny. Well, I had a girlfriend once that talked like that, and it turned out six years old. It was horrible. No, I don't want to talk about this. Okay, we don't have to talk about that, but I do want to talk. <gasps> what the hell is going on? Talk about the fact he's standing in front of the She was horrified. Eight inches of his shaft in his hand. Only eight inches. It got hit? Oh, That's not funny. That's so The real mean. question is now, are they responsible for animal cruelty? No, the real question is, wasn't that a wedding? Yeah. Are they still married? Because that's like totally bad luck. Yeah, that definitely is. That's um, horrible. Poor bird. But you know what I mean? Just think it, if they would have held it the other way, that wouldn't have happened. Is that considered animal cruelty? Because they brought those animals out there, they released them in an unsafe environment, are they not to be held responsible for that animal's death? Like, I don't know, man. That shouldn't have happened. Honestly, it shouldn't have happened, guys. Are they Somebody laughing? was giggling, yeah. That's not funny at all. You're all and this is tough. It is? This, this, I'll give you an example. Say you have a, you know, you have to get up on the wall, high swimming ball. Right. Hey, listen, just walk right up. And I tell you, it's very safe, it's durable, and oh, it's lightweight. Oh, me. So really? <laughs> See, now it's locked in place, okay? <laughs> so really, you say, Oh, God, Harold, are you okay? Uh, uh, I don't think anybody wants to buy this for four easy payments of $30. That's 120 bucks. Yeah, that was terribly unsafe. Yeah, I didn't have it locked. You have to lock it. Once you lock it, you're okay. You have to lock it. It is very safe to operate. Mm, sure. <laughs> so, I just scratch this. Alrighty. Well, I... <laughs> you cracker, you lost money. Yes. Why would you want to match Noel Brown? Because I wanted to play good players. Did you, did you think he was good? No, I huh? wanted to play. So you knew you were ass. Yes, and I you... am very ass. I live in Columbus. But you, but you, but you lost. I live in Columbus. What, what? Everyone in Columbus is. Free. So you know what? So you know what? Bum ass Andre. What? You live in this area with bum, bum ass Andre. I wanted to play him, but he was busy. Stop crying, man. That's not that's not real nigga shit. I'm not a real nigga. <laughs> that's not that's not real niggas. I know. I just wanted I wanted the money match people so I could get them to take it seriously because money was on the line. Any time of the year. Why are they giving them do it in the summer? So much shit, damn. And I put fresh strawberries in here too. Oh, oh what a good idea. Do they right? cool That's another. I'm going to try this. Uh, do I do what? Make Kool Aid. Uh, n no, I, I don't make uh, Kool Aid. Sorry, but I made an summer. adult oh. beverage for us. She does. She brought yeah. us a good. <laughs> like, I don't think he meant for that to sound like that. No. Then he's like, oh, fuck. But she got awkward about it. Yeah. 
And what does Kool Aid have to do with that anyway? I, don't, I never got that. What? Kool Aid. It's because she was black. What does Kool Aid have to do with black people? I've never Apparently, got that. Apparently, black people love grape Kool Aid or something. Who the fuck doesn't love Kool Aid? That's what I've heard anyway. I don't get that one. I don't get it either. But apparently that's just the thing, and she got really awkward about by she it. She did. So. Well, it was awkward. It was on like live TV too, which makes it so She's fucking like, funny. Um, no, I don't make Kool Aid. <laughs> He's probably sitting at home brushing his teeth at night. He's like, fuck, <laughs> just like that. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> what? Well, that was probably really loud in the microphone. I wanted it to be dramatic, guys. But that's probably what he's doing. He's like, God damn it, I messed up. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. I thought you were somebody else. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. Trust getting it stuck or something. Could be, yeah. Wrong wedding. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Why is everything so like weird? Are they at the, like, wrong wedding or what? <laughs> I think that rather there's a building literally touching them that's like a bar and they're blaring their music. Or somebody's playing the wrong music and they switched the song and got it completely messed up because that made no sense. And that's like, you could tell she looked pissed when that said that, well, when the song said that. She's ready to turn around, you can tell. Standing at 37 degrees in, uh, in Cleveland, that's uh, uh, 32 degrees and uh, three of these Bagged up and ready to be put on it. Still conscious. We all thought he was going to make it. I mean, that was a, that was such a high moment with uh, everything that had happened, that Mace was going to make it. Sounds like, at the end, the battle came down to saving Private Mace. Um, <laughs> shit. I don't get that. Oh, my God. What just happened? So this guy is telling an emotional story. Yeah, right, okay. Of trying to save this guy and they yeah. couldn't you know and he died and that guy cracked a joke at his expense in the middle of this emotional time he's like looks like it really came down to saving private mace because you've heard of saving private ryan in the movie oh, yeah. the famous one so he made a fucking terrible not even a good joke a bad joke at this guy's expense That's mean. and you could tell this guy's like wow that's that's what we were all hoping for <laughs> He just beat him with a drumstick. Oh my god. Jesse. It's Jesse from Jesse and Gina. Guys, thank you for having me. You guys all know who I am. My name is Jesse Wellens and I am a YouTube creator. So I am here to talk about Need for Speed. Um, payback. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. This sounds like me when I talk. I'm just thinking about whenever I do the beginning of these videos, I need to say that stuff, and sometimes I just completely freeze. I'm like, wait, what the fuck do I say next? I just get really slow. You know, what I feel I'm saying. I feel bad for him though. In a way, everything that he's been through, I feel bad for him. Yeah. Well, yeah, his mom died, and like he, I'm not gonna talk. Yeah, that's sad. But there's a lot. 
But I mean, I just know that moment when it freezes. I'm not on this level, obviously, but I know what it's like to just forget what you were talking about, and then you're in like, "Oh God, what do I say now?" Horrible. Yeah. Uh, if you guys didn't know, DPC Payback, I'm. Um... Yeah, it's a great game. <laughs> but all right, all set aside. I'm a YouTube creator. DPC Payback is coming out. I got my boy Marcus, executive producer here. He is the producer in the game. Thank you, Nick, for having me. Hey, man. He's, he's just, nervous. He's really nervous. Yeah, he is. He just called him Nick, too, and he said his name was, like, Marcus. Thanks, Jesse. Um, obviously, we're really... Maybe he, it was a prank. Maybe. <laughs> um, okay? Okay, stupid. John, it's not even that funny. It's, do you know how bad it is to type to tip a bike that nice? Yes, of course. Its value is instantly destroyed. Yes. That thing is literally junk now when you do something like that to it. But this is a. This is like trying not to cringe, basically, and you're sitting here laughing your ass off. It's funny as hell. You Rob, the, I love this video. I'm, I'm you sorry. You laughed at the bird. Too. That's so mean. Just think if that so was Archie. Ironic. Think if that was Archie. Okay, don't bring Archie. Don't you ever Talk bring Archie into that mouth again. Never. We got rid of Archie. We did, guys. We, we gave him to a very good family. Mm -hmm. We just didn't have the yard space for him to be happy, and he'd have to sit in this little tiny house all day, so yeah. we got into looking at it, and Huskies really need other animals, too, and he only had the cats, and he was chewing on them, like, a lot, so Bullhead. it's like, yeah. And he thought he was playing, so it's like... We can't be oh that God, selfish with so him. He now. has to be out in the yard, and yeah, we've seen videos now of him of the new yeah. owners, and he's having so much fun because he's got another husky uh, dog that he's now like best friends with, and they're running in this big fence in the yard. And I just feel so much better about. It. I mean, like we got him fixed and everything, so we lost a lot of money on it, but at least he's happy, and that's mm -hmm. like the that's what part. matters. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, though, do miss him. Though. That's why I brought Archie to make him feel bad a lot, laughing about the bird. Yeah. Next session. You're welcome. Well, we have a desk, and uh, we have Jack Kale, so that's all good. Don't walk through the shop. What an idiot. What, what an idiot. Okay, well, we are back. Who and, does uh, that? Well, it's, uh, you're on camera right now. So if you could move out of the shot, that would be great. If you could move out of the shot, that would be great. If you could move out of the shot, that would be great. What are you doing? Wow. <laughs> what? Like, I asked you not to go backstage, you ignored me, and now you're in the middle of the shot. Wow, what the hell? <laughs> Did this really happen? Let's just calm it down. <laughs> okay, I think, we're, I think we can carry on. I wish I could see that full thing. Damn. Pull it down, and push the energy out the hat. Big breath. Oh god, I love this crap. More power, more passion, more power. As soon as you see me move, everything you got in there, you push it out. We can do it, brother. Hey, give me a shit. <laughs> um. <laughs> what is she grabbing her butt for? <laughs> what the fuck did I just watch? What happened? I don't get this. I What's going on? Anything. I feel like... I don't know how I feel right now. This is not okay. What's happening? <laughs> Um, he was like telling her to do some kind of yoga stuff, push it out, and he just tackles <laughs> the lady. Like, let's go back. I gotta, I gotta see some more feedback on that one. She's doing it. This guy's in front of her. This girl tells him to move. Oh, like, <laughs> and now she's like. You ready to join us in the circle? What the hell? He meant to hit her hand and she totally moved it. This cameraman, Jesus. Was it just some random guy? Or? I think so. I'm a 
First Amendment absolutist. I believe in only two things completely, the First Amendment and boobs. And so once they made the decision that they were Wait, not did going you just to say allow a you believe in the first amendment and related commentary they could hold on hold on hold on <laughs> i just want to make sure i heard you correctly <laughs> you heard him correctly please woman anchoring the show did you say what did you say you believe in the first amendment and bwbs boobs two things that have only never let me look down in this entire country's history the first amendment and boobs so those are the only two things I believe in absolutely in the country. <laughs> and so I don't think Jamaica... <laughs> wow, okay. Oh my God, Rob, thank you so much. That video was epic to say the least. Oh my God. That first one though, right here, the one that was just up. When he shits his pants This girl, face. I feel like that looks like a guy, first of all. I thought that was a dude in the beginning. I thought all three of them were guys. And she just sits there and just stays wafting in the fart. Like, she's, once she's, you get up and move away as soon as someone ripped ass in your face, like, I would be running my ass upstairs or something. She's marinating in it. <laughs> you're so gross. That's what you do when you fart. You sit there and you sit, sit in it and you're like, get that hey, let's wait clothes. for Ashton to walk in the bedroom. And when she does, be like, <laughs> I just farted. And I'm, I'm like, like a lemur. I shit on my own tail to let others know my scent and scare them away. Okay. I'm just kidding. That was a good video, though. Yeah, that was. That was great. Thank you so much, Rob. Guys, go and subscribe to Cringe with a K K R I N G E. Um, that was an awesome video. Like mm -hmm. I found that funnier than most. Try not to laugh. So now. What was the best one? Probably when he tackled that lady. I don't know where. <laughs> yeah. That was just fucking hilarious. That it was. didn't have any real context of why he did, it, except for at the end, he's like, "Are you ready to join the circle now?" It's like, <laughs> I know, like what? Um... You just assaulted this lady. You can go to jail because she wasn't in your circle. I'm sorry, dude, but you just assaulting just a woman in public. You're done. <laughs> he took her ass out. He's he like full fledged, just fucking ran did. at her. No regrets. <laughs> just. <laughs> Uh, anyway, guys, catch you in the next video. Peace. Bye.